Hey everyone, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Hearts of Iron 4 Across the Nipro. Here today on the channel, we're back with episode 5 of our series. Here today, it is April 2022. The invasion started a full year earlier, and we're holding on to our territory. So, unfortunately, we've been on the back foot quite a few times in this series. Kharkiv, Luhansk, and Donetsk have all been annexed and lost. We had to fall back over the Dnieper. We're doing better in the north here, in the Chernihiv, Sumy, Poltava provinces. And down in mm, Hassan Mikolaev, we seem to be holding for now. Oh, nice. We've managed to get... Uh, home our railgun, so let's move them probably to the north. Okay. We're slowly but surely getting western support trickling in as well. We've got 100% stability, 100% war support under the presidential reign of Vladimir Zelensky. Our logistics are sitting at about 70%. We've got roughly 400 divisions, but the longer we can survive, the better. So just try and move them into range. I don't think our railways are getting that focused anyway. We're not having, like, mass amounts of strategic destruction. Which they really probably should be hitting us with. Okay. So, we're trying to do a push in the north. We did bait them over the river. Near Hassan and Zaporizhia and crushed a bunch of divisions. And now we're on a bit of an offensive here because they've overextended. Okay, so on the southern axis, we seem to be doing a lot better. But we just need to try and hold on as long as we can. And uh, as long as it takes. Okay. Things are looking a bit better. Somehow they actually are convoy raiding. <laughs> I guess they've got some... ships doing s some military actions. I guess, like... Hearts of Iron doesn't really distinguish between rivers, river systems, and, like, open ocean stuff, you know what I mean? Like, is there much of a difference between a river port and, like, the port of Odessa, if you know what I mean? Probably just game limitations. All right, let's try and redraw this a bit. So, it's now May. We probably can go on an offensive at some point. We probably can time it. But so far, they seem to overextend. If they, if they can overextend over the river, we seem to be able to be able to crush and conquer them. I'm going to redraw some front lines here, hopefully to Sumi. I'm going to try and retake her son. Um, trying to hold this territory in and around Dnipro is just a bit difficult. There's just so many points to attack. I want to try and retake Kharkiv. So, we just need to keep a watchful eye on where some of these pushes can be advantageous for the armed forces. But they've incorporated all the oblasts, so we're just fighting regular Federation soldiers. Now, I don't know what happened to the deep... I guess, like, they assimilated the, um, DPR militias and whatnot. Okay, so hopefully we can last as long... I think it sort of gets to the point where we are in real life, hopefully, time-wise. But they were emboldened a full year earlier. They caught us by surprise. Um, we're still going with, ideally, wolf pack stuff. Surprisingly, our navy has been incredibly effective in doing convoy raiding. Vladimir, Vladimir Zelensky has now visited Congress in his first trip outside the country. Nice. Okay, uh, the more we go down this, the better. We get some crazy stuff. So we could actually go on an offensive, breakthrough organization, stuff like that. So you kind of want to time it with that. And wherever it seems to be in our favor, we'll try and push. There we go. Seem to be doing a little bit better here as time goes on. Okay, let's try and push there. Nice. Let's throw them back into the river. We've lost 440k. Nice. They're at 635. So, although they have numerical supremacy on us, there's a 200 
unit difference. They have 400 minimum units. So now they do outnumber us. They must have incorporated all those other divisions. Okay, we're still continuing to buy Javelins, In-Laws, and Stingers from the West. We're still getting a tricklement of armaments as well. Uh, Zeluzhny is going on an offensive here. If we can push them back to the Belarus border, that would be ideal. Okay, so... Although we haven't retaken Zaporizhia there, we are really fighting over those tiles. Oh my god, this is always a bit crazy here in Dnipro. Okay, they're still holding Kherson. June now. So, this is summer. Right, okay. <laughs> As an Australian, it's winter for me. <laughs> All the seasons are flipped. So yeah, we are doing our summer counter-offensive, you could say. But we did have to retreat over... The Nipro, and we seem to be crushing, destroying, and holding more units better down here. Like, why are their units getting hit there? Um, okay. Got some more divisions on the way. Oh, those were the ones that have been trained. Thankfully, our experience is quite high with some of these guys. There's not too many fresh green troops. Because we did have to deal with the rebellions earlier in the series and we did some training earlier on but so far we've nearly been 10 years into this campaign man thankfully we didn't have to deal with Odessa as a rebellion pro a rebellion a rebellious province that could have been seriously bad but I can see how if you basically conquer the four rebellious oblasts from the get-go. You can make it a far easier time than you. Nice. Because it just gives them more territory to work with. Because our tank production was massively hindered. A lot of our military and civilian factories were just yoinked when we lost Kharkiv. Oh, they're starting to push me here now, though. Okay. Still haven't been able to push over the river. Okay, maybe just try and reform that slightly. Okay. We are slowly shortening them there. Can we get over the river there? Nice. Actually, we're going to be able to nearly... fully get them over here. Nice. They're oh, wait, but you're moving, though. Hang on. We just threw them back. We don't want to, like, lose our position there. Okay. Uh, Nipro is having issues again. I feel like I'm just constantly drawing up borders there. But so far... Although this is a defensive war... And going on the offensive now from time to time... We're doing a lot better. We're taking out a lot of them. They are, we are inflicting mass casualties on them. Oh, they're back there now. But, although we give them like a small bridgehead over there, I actually kind of don't mind it because it's, it's giving us a massive opportunity to encircle them. Like, sure. Push over the river with terrible supply. I'm more than happy to encircle you. We've still actually got some guys on the other bank <laughs> over her son, like on that little peninsula there. <laughs> Doing amphibious operations. Alright, offensive in the northeast. Alright. So just sort of trading here in the border. It's been a month now or so. Okay. So they do see a breakthrough, and then they just like get pushed back. Look at this. A lot of them do make it back over the river, though. Come on. We're about to crush them again, I reckon. Nice. Uh, still haven't been a re be able to retake Zaporizhia and Nipro. My god. That push! Yeah, those regular tanks, man. Are so good. I might actually just need to... You know what? I'm sick of dealing with this. 
It might be more advantageous for us to get Budenov to divide his forces in half and then get some other bloke to deal with it. Like Aiden, because it keeps on happening. Yeah, let's get you to hold that. All right, that'll do. A bit better. Uh, okay, things are getting a bit better here. Oh, God, they're back over here again. Why? Won't you die? Stop. Oh, nice. So it's nearly ballooned to a 300k manpower difference. Look at that. Nice. We've still lost an absolute shit ton, though. Can't purchase any more stuff. Uh, oh, finally. We've got free civilian factories to import steel. We'll get steel from Poland and Slovakia. Okay, so what do we want to go with now? Um, reallocate some of the stuff. Factory output. Yeah, let's go with that. I'm seeing about 80% at the moment anyway. Oh, I forgot about my Air Force. Um, okay, so they've been operating in Zaporizhia. Maybe go back up into the north. We don't have that many close air support. Okay. But at the moment, we seem to be taking more of them out than what we're losing. So, I think we've done okay, relatively. I still think this campaign is salvageable. I think we abided enough time on the southern axis, like over the river. And now finding them here is just a bit strategically better because their supply just goes to absolute shit. So they look at this, they overextend, we push them back. Okay, we finally hit 500k. They're seeing at 824. So they do manage to escape with a good chunk of them. Ideally, if we can get to some mass encirclement of a couple units, that'd be wicked. August now, 22. Want to do some... A little bit more offensive actions. Okay, that tiled. We'll sit there. Over the warmer months. We just haven't been able to push back over the river. Um, just go, go do that. Sometimes it's easier just to drag and push them. There we go. That's what I want. Okay. Uh, let's go with improved rounds for our IVFs. Let's go... Oh, we can't lobby for that just yet. We want to try and lobby for Western tanks. We're still, for all intensive purposes, using our old Soviet tanks, which is serviceable for now. Another Independence Day. Nice. Oh, this. We're about to crush a massive amount. Oh, my God. There's a good eight or so divisions there. Another nine. That's what we're talking about. Dnieper International Airport. They've been surrounded. Perfect. Uh, is there about to get a bunch of them surrounded there as well? No, not quite. So we've only lost 100k of our manpower. We've still got 900k. So if we can average like 100k a year, we've probably got nine years left of full hot fighting like this. I just don't know how long it's going to last. If we can get everything wrapped up by 2024, 2025, that would be ideal. We don't. We haven't even increased. We haven't even increased our conscription. We don't need to just yet. We just need to watch out for the American elections and some various other ones. Okay. Yeah, things are just back and forth, mostly on the north. There's nothing really much we can do. Our commitment's at 93%. What are we... So, infantry at the moment. Still got a bunch of anti-air and artillery. Um, We could make... Wait, Liz Trust just became Prime Minister. We could... And Her Majesty, Her Majesty died. Oh, shame. Um, we could potentially just make 
artillery and rocket artillery heavy units. But we don't need to just yet. Things aren't that bad. Okay, advanced artillery upgrade is now being complete. Okay. I think we're in a really, really good position now. They have stabilized stuff. Uh, advanced anti air. MLARs. Um, maybe just go with anti air stuff. Oh, no, actually go with support. That'll do. Okay. So we've essentially stopped their massive push. And we're just trying to do some of our own offensive actions. Still continuing to try and secure Western aid. Oh, nice. Here we go. We're about to get a massive encirclement there. Come on. Hang on. No. Hang on. We had an opportunity there. Yikes. All right, let's try and get those Western tanks in. Hang on. Like, hang on, hang on. Fuck. I feel like we need more units down here. We're having opportunities here if we just had some more units. Assessing the situation. Zaluzhny has been right so far. A counteroffensive will begin. We need a breakthrough, damn it. A counteroffensive begins. So we can go with the historical decision in 96. Or we can go with Ukrainian Blitzkrieg. Oh, I think that gives us a lot better stats. Oh. I actually... I've been going with the historical decision, but I might actually go with this one. Because we're in... Like, we're being crushed... We're, if we had a full-on, like, offensive buff here... I think we might be able to push them back. Okay, alright. Because we're in a worse position, but we've been... We've been doing good. We actually have been pushing them quite a bit. Like, if we can crush these units here... Liz Truss resigns. Sunak in. Okay. Like, here we go. If we can crush them, we might actually be able to fully push over... There we go. Alright, we've got a massive encirclement here near Zaporizhia. Come on. Like, really, really focus for it. Like, go for that. Go, 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 go. Nice. There we go. Perfect. Oh, dude. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, everything's okay down here, relatively. They're still holding her son pretty well. Like, we can't just push for that. Oh my god, we finally got those submarines. <laughs> Submarine 4, sure. At least we're producing them now. That we have more steel coming in. We still have 23 subs. Yeah, we've still got our own convoys getting hit up here, which is surprising. What if those rail guns have stabilized things? Oh, we had an encirclement there. Come on. They've pushed us back. Hang on. There we go again. Alright, they've nearly lost a million, which is pretty yikes. We seem to be inflicting way more losses on them, which is surprising. Might be able to do a little bit of a push there. But if we keep this up, I think we're going to be in a better position. Nice. Once again, they've overextended over the river. Um, I don't even know what I go with Navy-wise. Uh, probably go down with construction and stuff now. Because the wars happens and stuff happened so earlier, so much earlier, I had to go with more offensive stuff. Okay, so those... We've probably got a bunch of Western tanks and stuff. Avenge the cyborgs. Okay. Let's go with that. Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, we got him. Okay. Things are still chilling on the north. Infantry equipment 3 is now being complete. We've actually taken Nipro in the north. Oh, we actually pushed over the river, I think. Nice. Okay, it's been a full year. Well, let's keep it up and keep going. Okay. 
Okay. We pushed back. We defended. We time wasted. We used the natural defensive position of the Nipro. Let them overextend. Surround and crush them. Waste their military equipment and material. And now we can go on the offensive. Now that we've got some western tanks and stuff coming in. Okay. Nice. If we can basically... Although the territory isn't the best there. If we can just sort of open up a nice position over the other side of the river. Because it's our naturally, like, own territory. We're going to get better supply. Uh, let's go with anti-air stuff, I think. Or is there something better else we can go with? Um, no, let's go with the anti-air. We'll take the bigger time head time ahead penalty so I don't have to deal with it. Um, let's go with that. Yes, let's get improved torpedoes. Okay. Um, we can't get any more stuff here, no. Right, nice. Okay, there we go. Because in theory, if we can... Basically, it seems to... If we can draw more of those entrenched units further south, that would be ideal. We just still can't push over to Zaporizhia just yet. Nice. Look at this. We might be able to get a good encirclement here. We might be able to connect up near Poltava. Nice. Oh, dude. We actually might get a massive encirclement there. Get Budden off and Zuluzhny to encircle them around. Nipro, right, another eight elite divisions coming in. Because they've now been Western trained. Okay. As we hit December now, 23. So it's winter. It's probably nice and hard enough. It's not that muddy slush situation. Oh, nice. We might be able to get a massive encirclement in here. Look at this. We've really got them on the back foot. Okay, we're still a little bit gridlocked down here. <gasps> oh, wow, what? The, uh, they've rebelled. <laughs> okay. Does that change things? They've hit nearly 1.1 million. Oh, here we go. We've got the, um, march to Moscow. Alright, so hang on. Is that chain... Wait, what? Why can't we move... Huh? Oh, wow. Okay. So, I guess you need to survive as long as this. There's no, like, territory taken. We can't move into that northern territory. Oh, wait. Hang on. This is a massive opportunity. We have to go, go, go and attack all fronts. We can't move military forces, which looks like to be in Sumi, Chernihiv, and a little bit of Poltava. So, yeah. Throw everyone to the Kharkiv, the Dnipro point. We can use this as a massive opportunity. I think units got distracted somehow. Yeah, the, like units have been pulled off the front there. Oh my god, we gotta go then. We gotta go, 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 go. Use this initiative. Meet up with <laughs> Wagner in uh, Rostov on Don, I guess. Okay, so we've managed to take out 500k of them. Nice. And we've lost 600 of our own. Alright. We need to use this. Unfortunate political position for them. If we can somehow, like, cut them off there, that's what we need to do. Okay, so that means everyone can push further south. He was already on the offensive. We might be able to, if we could just, like, get a massive encirclement here, it's probably GG's. So, from the brink of defeat, we've probably managed to come back here, and now this is, like, completely disorganized. And look at this, we're about to get a massive encirclement here. Okay, still struggling to push over from Herson and Zaporizhia, but we're doing a lot better here in the north. Yes, there's a lot of territory that we can't get into. Kharkiv has been liberated. Nice. Okay, so they're sitting at 1.1. Look at this. 
A massive surge in counter-offensive. As our mechanized and armed forces are flooding in. Yeah, like, try and retake Mariupol. And to Melitopol. If we can focus on top, uh, top Mac, Melitopol and uh, Mariupol, that would be massive. There are Belarus units there, but they're not doing anything. Cross the Dnipro. Let's go. Um, man, this would be so much easier if we had air power. Look at this. Oh, we're really pushing them back now. Nice. Go, 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 go. We have to use this. Wow. They actually threw because of Wagner. Okay, they are starting to reallocate some of their forces north. There's like one unit here. Hang on. Just get rid of it. There we go. It was like tying units there. Nice. We still haven't been able to push over from Zaporizhia. Oh my god. Here we go. Oh, wow. We're really going. Just because we've been able to focus on the south so much easier. We're across the Dnipro now. Uh, we can't go with rebuilding. I guess we go with Crimea because we are getting towards that region. Nice. There we go. We've got them massively on the back foot. A lot of this is not being defended. If we can cut them off here, that would be ideal. Go, 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 go. Sever the land bridge. The boys. The boys are doing it. Um, we can get rid of Duga. <laughs> okay. Uh, sure. I guess we do that. That's an option. They're still holding Zaporizhia, though. As we're about to cut them off here. There we go. Should we cry me up? It's January now, 23. We're in a really good position. I haven't reallocated those rail guns, but I don't think we need to. It's fine. We also haven't spent a bunch of our army experience. There's some stuff we can min-max, but... What are we even using? Okay, a lot of equipment we just sort of seized. Interesting. Okay. Um, this is really good. I think we're good here now. I can't see us losing from this position. Unless they reallocate. We use the... Uh, mutiny to our advantage. It drew so many units off the front line. There we go. And then try and go to Kerch and Krasnodar. Everyone's on a, like offensive action. Nice. Mariupol has been now liberated. And this is massive. There is a bunch of units caught here in Zaporizhia. We've sort of stopped here. The counter-offensive is really working out. Okay. Like, grab everyone and try and crush this. There is a massive contingent here. It's ballooned to 1.3 mil. Okay. Make sure you get rid of you. Okay, so they have actually pushed me in Mikolaev. Ooh, hang on. We're doing so well. We need to watch out for here. Let's reallocate you. Man. Man. What a fun mod. Yeah, I think you just sort of have to take it on the chin a bit. Being on the defensive in some points. you got to pick your battles wisely. Your offensives and pushes. Highly recommend this mod. I'm surprised you could even call this a beta. It's pretty fleshed out. Okay, let's reorganize this. There we go. If we can basically take the peninsula from the behind across these units here they've been overextended okay our equipment has gone shocking nice okay what's happening here there's still a bunch of units in Zaporizhia keep pushing them to try and waste that supply um things have really stabilized there though okay we just need to make sure this push is successful Nearly hitting 1.3 now. If they just kept on going, they might have been able to... Hold on out. We've got 114k. Oh, okay. We've just crushed so many of divisions. <laughs> They've got a minimum of 200 now. We probably have more divisions than them. It's just adding up those losses. Like... They, uh... I fought to the absolute bitter end here in Zaporizhia. Okay, so we missed. 
Uh, victory in the east. Wait, what? Did the game just freeze? Nope, we're good. Oh my god. My frames. Alright. So. Still haven't cleaned off the last of them in Zaporizhia. What is happening? My frames are dying. It's hit 1.4 million. The counter-offensive is working. We've nearly liberated all of... Um, Zaporizhia Oblast. There we go. Look at this. There's 21 divisions there that can't get out. They're sitting on the island. So that's going to be a massive chunk. Like, I wonder how many units are just in there. Uh, more troops have arrived. Um, I don't think I want to hit the bridge. Because we want to try and cross it, potentially. Nice. There we go. We're starting to flank them from behind massively here. With Melitopol and Borodansk under our control. Uh, what's happening here? Um, you don't have a front line. Because we have been struggling to push over that Mikolaev region. Okay. Um, where were those elite forces? Pfft, maybe here. Just chuck them over here. It's fine. Things have slowed down. In the east. Oh, we can't even... Wait, what? We can't move into Kharkiv now? Why? That's bizarre. Okay. Maybe that was the calculation stuff. We had it. Okay. Yeah. Need to go for Simeon of Pole. Whatever it is. Oh, okay. We might need to redraw that front line. If we can surround them there in the south. 1.4. Okay, look at this. We're nearly like 98%. Restored. We got to about 60% towards capitulation. So, let's redraw this. Because we don't want to get pushed back from this really good position we now sit in. Yeah, so we've got some units there that are exiled. Okay. Yeah, a lot of this territory we just can't go into, which is a bit weird. Alright, so let's reform something like that and start to threaten, which you would consider historically their core territory. So let's try and go all the way back there. I don't know how far we need to push. Alright, down in the south, still struggling to push over. Oh, wait, so we can't actually just put it to Crimea. Okay, that's weird. So maybe we just need to draw it like here then. Interesting. So we can take our own... We can draw stuff on our own territory, but not so much on theirs. So maybe we need to draw it a bit better here. Hang on. Like here. We've got them on the back foot, so we'll just initiate the plan. We're not going to wait for time and preparation. We're good. I would have thought we would have expended a bunch more artillery and uh, rocket artillery pieces. We've just got a bunch in stockpile that we didn't really end up using. We didn't need to. Didn't need to make full-on artillery divisions just to hit their counter batteries. I think their tanks and stuff were the most issue. I thought their aviation would have been more of an issue as well. And maybe amphibious attacks. But it's all good. They got us at a couple points. But you just gotta not sort of sweat it and take your time. <laughs> a cool, calm, balanced. Balance between attack and defense. We've still got that division that's been, like, on that little peninsula there. On that little... Well, it an island, little strip there. Nice, here we go. Alright, so we've actually got some forces entering the Crimean Peninsula. Push! Let's go, lads. Let's liberate the Tartars! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, there's gonna be a absolute mass encirclement there. Nice. We're back to convoy raiding down here. 
Um, oh my god, we're only a couple tiles away from Donetsk city itself. Nice, here we go. Cutting off that supply, yep, and then go for this. Go, 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 go. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think we got him. Nice. 1.5. Things are looking a lot better. Yep. Keep going. Basically cut off that supply to those guys over the border in Mikolaev. Alright, there we go. Nice. Um, we just need to move to the port of Sevastopol. We can't even start rebuilding yet because we haven't got peace, I guess. Um, the Ukrainian Caesar. <laughs> um, is that Zeluzhny? <laughs> Seems to be like that, particularly in this series. Is there anything else in, in this focus tree we can do? Some of the stuff we missed, but that's alright. Phew! I think we're good now. Man, things got a little bit hairy. 1.5 million, yikes. There we go. We've nearly liberated the entirety of the peninsula. And we've still got like a million manpower spare. Oh, we are struggling to push here a little bit though. We're doing so much better in the south of the country. Yeah, just try and go for this. Uh, make sure that all of the peninsula is fully under our control. That's been successful, nice. Oh, it's like fully under our control. Perfect. All right. So, because we didn't target the bridge, the Kerch Bridge, we can probably just move over there now if we need to. So, we've got like 72 divisions just here. <laughs> Let's go for there and then try and cross over to Krasnodar, rostov on -Don. We'll see. Let's push there. Okay, our equipment has gone to 24%. At, at one point when we were getting like a bunch of Western aid in, that's probably what made the difference. We were laughing. Ugh, okay, so we're actually struggling to push over here now. Kerch has been liberated. Interesting. I guess we can try and purchase some more stuff where we can. Um, can we push like fully over here or do we need to move them back? 1.6 million. Alright, so even with them um, attacking us a year earlier, we've been good. Let's try and make sure we grab all these little tiles here. We've got 91 divisions just sitting here. Um, can we not cross the border? What's going on there? Uh, no, it's not allowing me to... Wait, can't even cross here? Bit weird. Well, hang on. Calculating peace conference. What? There's a bunch of divisions I want to crush. In her son, or is he about to sign a white piece, maybe? Oh no, here we go, Ukrainian victory. Victory in the south, we've won. After years of fighting, we've won. They've discussed an official end to the conflict. Alright. Slava Ukraini, 6th of May 23. So we didn't even get to December of this year. Nice, so does that mean all that territory that we lost is now ours? The Treaty of Kiev? Yep. All of our territory is now back. So Donetsk, Luhansk, Kharkiv, yep. And Crimea as well. Nice. Dude. We've just... <laughs> we've got so many forces. Like... What would stop us just after that just going all the way to Moscow? <laughs> oh, wow. Well, unfortunately on that note, it's probably time to... Wrap up the series here. Phew. We won. Um, I've had an absolute blast. I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, let me know feedback and suggestions in the comments. I'm sure there's stuff we could have min-maxed. Let me know, backseat gamers. Let me know. But at the end of the day, we won. I think that wasn't too bad for my first playthrough on the beta. For all intents and purposes. At some points, we could have very well lost <laughs> anyway thanks guys um maybe i should do some more on this mod or maybe i should look to see if there's any other similar mods 
like this. Yeah, let me know feedback and suggestions. Maybe I could play as the other side. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. My name is Ben Simpsy. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Uh, Slava Ukraini.